Season six, episode forty-seven. Woo! All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, should we introduce ourselves? Okay. Yeah. Jeff is I, on it today. I was about to say we are back, but that's okay. You can say it now. We are back. We're back for another Strivecast episode. Yep. My name is Nopa Thompson. Okay, there's our hosts. How about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. Okay. Uh, Whitney. Hello, I'm Whitney. And I'm Pete. Our uh, friend and colleague Alex is on assignment, so she is unable to be with us today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, guys, what do we got in store today? What do we got coming up? The dinner lesson. Okay. What are we going to be listening about? Uh, let's see. What about what is your strengths and your um and your worries? Strengths and your worries. Okay, so stay tuned for sit down and listen to hear about that. Jeff, do you have a segment coming up? Um. Uh. Yes. Okay. About Rushmore. We got it, Pete. All right. So that's coming up, and. Even though Alex is away, I believe we are going to have Strivia. Is that correct? That is correct. Guest host Whitney for Strivia. And I guess I'll hold, I'll hold until we do our Strivia segment. Okay. So some angst about Strivia coming up as well. <laughs> do we need to give her some points? Do we need to what, No. Give Alex some points. Okay, sure. I was going to say maybe Whitney should have some points since she's taking one for the team today i think in our group text alex had said five points for somebody that volunteers to host so that seems pretty fair yeah all right so should we uh take a quick break and then get after it oh yeah oh yes pete let's, let's get right at it all right jeff would you like to take us to break yes pete we'll be right back All right, we're back. We're back. And we have a special guest host for Strivia today as Alex is on assignment and we just couldn't miss out on one more week of Strivia. And that guest host is me. So yeah. it's me. And I have Whitney. a special notebook so I can give you a score update. Who would like that? Right over here. I All would right. Wait. Okay, in fifth place, we have Pete, Peter Brown, with 117 points. Let's go. In fourth place, we have Jeff, with 135.75 points. Sorry, Jeff. You and me. In third place, we have Noel, with 141.5 points. And PT. In second place, we have Whitney with 163 points. And in first place, pretty hard, far ahead from the rest of the group, is Ryan with 175 points. Wow. We should say, to, in all fairness, that Alex had offered five points to anybody that wanted to be the host today. So Whitney is starting with an automatic plus five. Let's get their guaranteed five points. The rest of She's also probably made these questions super hard, so none of the rest of us can gain any ground on her. So. Why wouldn't he have their guaranteed five points? Right. Okay. Yeah. But today, Cheating already. we have a lot of trivia, que trivia questions today. Minus one There's more. ten of them, so you cool. have a lot of points that you can get. And they're all worth five. And they're all worth one point. Uh, shoot. Mm -hmm. But we do have... Two different trivia categories today. One is about a holiday we will be celebrating this weekend, Labor Day. And then our other category today, August 27th, is National Just Because Days. So there is some grab bag trivia questions in today's round. Okay. So that means wow. random trivia. 
Oh, so who wants to start with question one? I, I would do it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, our first question is about Labor Day, which is coming up this Monday. Okay. Which state was the first to make Labor Day a state holiday? Ooh. Is it Virginia, New York, Oregon, or California? We'll start with Noel. Okay, let's, what's the first one again? Virginia. Um, I think I go with um, Virginia. Noel's going with Virginia. Ryan? The first what? Which state was the first to make Labor Day a state holiday? I think, um... Massachusetts. Oh, we have multiple choice. Virginia, oh. New York, Oregon, or California. New York. New York. Okay. Jeff? New York. New York. And Pete? I was, I was going to say New York, but now I'll go California. All right. I'm sorry, but none of you are correct. <laughs> the correct answer is Oregon, who oh. made... Labor Day, a state holiday, all the way back in 1887. Wow. All right. Our next question is, start. <laughs> is for Just Because Day. Uh, and this, so is a range, this is a range question. So I want to know how many teeth does the adult human have? And the answer is between 1 and 40. So a number between one and 40. Okay. Closest without going over gets the point. Noel's counting his teeth. <laughs> yeah, um, again, including the lifetime of it, including the baby teeth that you start from? No, no just an adult human. How many oh. teeth are in an adult human's mouth? I would pick 25. 25, okay. Ryan? 22. 22. Jeff? Uh, probably, uh, actually, uh, 40. 40. And Ew. Ew. Uh, I think it's like 32. Well, someone got it right on the money. Yeah. Do we want to give that person two points? I thought, so spot on would just be two when it's that one. Yep. Two points for spot on, which one of you did get. And that person is Pete. There are 32 teeth oh. in the adult <laughs> human mouth. Let's go. Two points for Put it in a cat's mouth. <laughs> okay, well, here's another no range, idea. another range question. We're back you know the answer to the Noel's trivia question. What was it? I have a, how many teeth in a cat's mouth? I did not look that up today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on it. You keep going now. Okay, this is another range question. We're back to Labor Day. So yeah. now we know that Oregon was the first state to make Labor Day a holiday, but what year did Labor Day become a federal holiday, which means all of the states recognize it? So it's a number between 1880 and 1980. Uh. So an, a year between 1880 and 1980. How about 1982? 1982. Okay. Oh, nope. Sorry. That was too high. A number between 1880 and 1980. Okay. 82 is too high. What about zero? No. A well, year, definitely was some a year. year. <laughs> a year between the year 1880 and 1980. Wow. 1980. Ryan? 1940. Okay. Jeff? 1960. All right. And Pete? It's a good guess, Jeff. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say like... 1932. All right. I'm sorry to say you're all over. Ugh. Would you like to guess again? Yes. Oh. 
Hey, how about and wait, I'll give you a hint. Remember, Oregon was the first state to make it a state holiday in 1887. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> 1987. 1987, that's too high. <laughs> hey, how about 19? You gotta listen. One. No, you said 1980 last time, and we all went over. You got to go the other way. Remember, Oregon made it a holiday in 1887. So that would have to absolutely mean that 1880 to 1886 are also wrong. They seem so right that logic. So right. we don't go down, but we have to go up. You choose. It's up to you. Just if so okay, taking that hint, you, you gotta guess anywhere from 1887 to 1932. 1932 was way over as well. I'm okay. gonna say 1900, right on the nose. 1900 oh. for Pete. Okay, Ryan, what do you think? I'd say um, 1910. Okay, Jeff. Um, I think I would go with uh, Pete. 1900. Okay. 1944. Okay. Hey, no, you say it, over. all over again, and we're not guessing again. 1888. 1894 was wow. the first day, or first year that Labor Day came. 19, uh, I've got a question. Hmm. I've actually got the answer to Noel's question. If we want to guess how many teeth a cat has okay. for, for a point, I'll spit out this one. You can go with, actually. Okay. An adult cat has how many teeth? <laughs> this is your question, Noel. What's the answer? Um, 32, 34. 34? Okay. Ryan? It's a um, 20. Okay. Whitney? I'm going to say 24. Okay. And Jeff? I say 25. All right. That's a good. You got it, Jeff. Closest without going over. Cats have 26 baby teeth, but 30 permanent teeth. So 30 is the answer. Wow. Yeah. So point for Jeff. Good job, Jeff. Thank you with me. Question. <laughs> okay. I can also tell you dogs if you're ready. Back really to good. trivia, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We're back to a random question in the movie Finding Nemo. Uh oh, no. Uh what is the name of Nemo's mother? Is it oh. A, Meryl, B, Sandy, C, Coral, or D, Marina? Marina. Marina. Okay. Too many people. That's Ryan? C. C, Coral. Okay. Noel? Uh, Marina. Marina. Okay. Yeah. Jeff? Marina. Marina and Pete. No, are you feeling confident about this one? <laughs> I'll go with Koa. Oh, well, that's a no. He's... Are you changing your answer? Yeah. Are you sure you want to change your answer? Marina. Yeah, I go with Marina. Yeah. I'm going to go with Marina too. <laughs> Well, mm -hmm. that was a trick, Noel. You should have gone with Ryan. The answer oh. is Coral. And they don't, don't know much about no. Nemo. <laughs> <they're about laughs> the, the answer is Coral. And uh -huh. what are we okay. Do? Next, our question is about Labor Day. What is the most common symbol associated with Labor Day? Is it a hammer and a wrench? <laughs> is it an arm flexing oh. its muscle? Is it a clock or is it a lunchbox? I think it's a lunchbox. Noel thinks it's a lunchbox. I think okay. it's an arm. Ryan thinks it's the arm with the muscle. Yes. Pete? I'm going lunchbox. Lunchbox. And Jeff? Lunchbox. All right. I'm sorry. None of you have the answer right. It's a hammer and a wrench. Oh, I thought I my answer to that one. <clears throat> okay. This next up is <laughs> next up is just because. What color is the sunset on the planet Mars? Oh. Is it purple? Is it green? Is it orange? Or is it blue? Blue. Noel says blue. Ryan? Orange. Orange. 
Jeff? Uh, blue. Blue? And Pete? Purple? I have no idea. Purple. Well, two of you got it right. That's Noel and Jeff. The sunset on Mars is blue uh -huh. because of the planet's atmosphere, which is wow. made of carbon dioxide and iron-rich dust. Crushed it, guys. Yeah. Way to go. Right. You guys should get this one right. Next one is about Labor Day. Oh, boy. What color shouldn't you wear after Labor Day? Okay. No multiple choice. You just need to give me a color. I'm going to go white. Okay. Pete says white. I go with pink. Noel goes with pink. Jeff? I think I'm going with uh, Pete. White. Okay. And Ryan? Black. Black. Well, Pete and Jeff, you guys are the fashion gurus here. You should not wear white after Labor Day. But nobody really follows that. It's believed that historians believe it originates from when the upper class or the rich would come home after summer vacations and put away their white summer clothes. Hmm. So a, P, a point for Pete and Jeff. Or remains so you don't get lost in the snow. <laughs> All right. Anything goes. Number eight. Where yeah. was the first Subway sandwich shop located? Oh. Was it in Dover, Delaware? Was it in Bridgeport, Connecticut? Was it in Patterson, New Jersey? Or Watertown, New York? Watertown, New York. Watertown, New York for Noel. He seems pretty confident. Ryan? Delaware. Delaware. Jeff? Um, I'm going with uh, Noel. Watertown? Okay. And Pete? Bridgeport, Connecticut, Whitney. Pete, you are correct. The first Subway sandwich was sandwich shop was in Bridgeport, Connecticut in 1965, but it actually went by a different name. Pete's Super Submarines. Maybe oh, that's yes, why you got the answer name. right. What, am, what about the very, very first sandwich from Subway? I only looked up location, not the first sandwich. Oh, if that was the first location, it's got to be the first one, right? I see. I was going to change my. The first sandwich was. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, hey, Winnie, I yeah. want to answer to beach, uh one. <laughs> it's too late. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, here is our last question about Labor Day. Okay. In different, in different parts of the world, Labor Day is not celebrated in September. In what month do countries in Europe and Asia celebrate Labor Day? Is it July, March, October, or May? October. No one says October. Okay. Pete? I'm going to go with May. Okay. Ryan? October. October. And Jeff? Uh, May. May. All right. Two of you got it right, but which two is it? It's Pete and Jeff. Wow. Yeah. On fire, buddy. The answer is May. A lot of those places celebrate Labor Day May 1st. Let's go. Okay. Here's our last question of the day, and it's our just because category. What is a baby rabbit called? Uh, is it a kitten? Is it a cub? Is it a bunny or is it a pup? A bunny. Oh. Noel says bunny. Okay. It'll be a trick question. I think uh, a pup. A pup. Okay. That's a pup. Ryan? Bunny. A bunny? Yeah. Okay. And Pete. I got to stick with Jeff and go pup. All right. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have done that. The correct bunny. answer is a kitten. A wow. bunny, what? baby rabbit is a kitten or a kit for short. Oh, I was so close. So How many close. Did you have? Think um, about Thumper in the bunny. Just think about Thumper. <laughs> oh, I was so All right. Well, I need to do some math here. 
Yeah. All right. Well, while she does that, I've got the bonus question that we had. No points for this, but just for fun. When Noel asked how many teeth a cat had on the same page, it has how many teeth does a dog have? So tell me, how many teeth does a dog, a grown-up dog, have? How about 27? Okay. Um, I say 28. Okay. Ryan? 35. Ryan would get this one. Uh, um, so dogs have 28 baby teeth and 42 permanent teeth. Wow. So there you go. Cats have 26 baby teeth and 30 permanent teeth. Humans have 20 baby teeth and 32 permanent teeth. And then dogs have 28 baby teeth and 42 permanent teeth. So out of cats, dogs, and humans, dogs have the most teeth. What about dragons, Peter? Dragons are many, many teeth, and they breathe fire, so nobody can get close enough to count. Yeah. Well, what about, the math? What, I'm what about the math. The, okay. What yeah. about if they had a dragon dentist? A Do dragon it. dentist would be a very dangerous job. <laughs> yeah. All right. Would you like to hear an updated scores? Oh yes, right over here. Not yes, really. Wait. No movement in the leaderboard today, but y'all did a pretty good job. And Pete, you got five points today. Not bad. Um, so oh, gee, still in, huh? What did you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pete, in fifth place still, but now you're in 122 points. Meh. Jeff, you had a pretty good day too. Four points awarded to Jeff today. 139.75. Well, I'm really in far back last place, huh? In third yeah. place is Noel with 142.5. Yeah. In second place is Whitney with 168. And still in first place mm -hmm. is Ryan with 176 points. Oh, wow. Thank you for playing Whitney's Trivia today. Hope you come back again. Thank you for hosting. You're very welcome. Thank you for hosting, Whitney. Thank you. All right. Jeff, want to take us to break? Yes, we will be right back. Swamcast Swam is brought to you by. Jeff? Uh, yes. Your ad is right here. And Ryan, we've got a special this week. You want to tell them about it? So um, for this week's special, um, you get a sponsor of Thrivecast, $20 for four episodes. Woo! That's just $5 per for one um, per episode. But yeah, this week only. So act there now you if you really want to sponsor four episodes for $20. That is five dollars per episode. And you there get you yeah for twenty dollars. That's you get four that way. Let us know. We can work out something for your brand. Strivecast at pslstrive.org. All right, Jeff, want to take us to break? Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Okay. What? Is your weaknesses, Pete? Oh wow! <laughs> weaknesses. I thought it was worries in the. What are your weaknesses, Pete? Oh boy, there's so many of them, guys. I don't know how long. How long a show oh, we got? Well, I think struggles is a probably more appropriate thing to say than weaknesses, though. All right. How about um, saying no? Yeah. To people when they ask you to do something, just I'll just do it. Have you find a way to do something to please them. Right. Thank you, Ryan. What did you say, No. Oh, oh, um, what about have you done your homework? <laughs> I usually do my homework. No, I have... sometimes you say that to Zachary. Sometimes. Oh, that's a that's a weakness of mine is asking my kids <laughs> if they've done their homework. But it's discipline. <laughs> Hold, hold on, hold on a minute. Are we all gonna chime in with what my weaknesses are? Is that what we're at? I mean, what I mean is how you how hard do you discipline 
your kids if if that can be a worry for you if you're a parent. It is a it is a worry. It is. A, you're right. Um, Pete, this is a therapy session. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Although it's kind of, I don't know. It's therapy. It's the word I'd used. But um, yeah, sure. Uh, worry about if I'm disciplining them too hard. But I do check in to make sure they've done their homework. I don't think that's a bad thing. No, because you're a loving parent. Thank you. I am. Yeah. I like oh. to think I am a loving parent. Hey, Pete. Well, yes. What do you have to crap on me about? Oh, um, I'm not. Um, I've okay. got a fan club now. You what? I, I got a fan club. You've got a fan club? Yeah. Of course, because you're a uh, you know, Stripecast host. Yeah. What is your What is your strength to be in the fan club, Jeff? Wait, he's being a fan or having things? What What are your strengths, Jeff? Is what he's asking. About being in a fan club. AP? Yeah. Do I have to answer that? Uh, I guess you don't have to, but let's just talk about what are, what are some things you're really good at. What are your strengths? Um, I don't know. Really... Is it okay if we leave the fan club part out and all for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't you're really. Done. You should. Uh, what do I do for fun? No. What like you have a ton of. Like you're funny, you're friendly, sometimes, most of the time. I did a lot of times. So, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. What else? Um, I think um, I did having fun with Pete. Yeah, so do it. I don't know. Uh, I like where this segment is headed. <laughs> uh, I I see. Uh, I did having fun with Whitney as well. There you yeah. go. Because when he is my boss, and that's why I take you on my toes. All right. What's next, Noel? Okay. Ryan, what, what is everything good with you this week? Well, good with computers. Yeah. Very good. With telling you. jokes. Yeah. Oh, oh, window jokes. Like, windows. Computer. Oh, I, I like a lot of different jokes. I just yeah. made a, a lost control uh, key joke there yesterday. That was a good one. Uh, how about you, Whitney? What, what uh, are your movies and strengths and things? Um, let's see. A strength of mine is that I think I'm pretty organized. Uh. And a worry, I worry, I I think that is um, something that I struggle with is that I worry a lot about a lot of different things, small things that I don't need to worry about. Uh, Does that answer your question? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. How? What is your favorite um, fun thing for everyone like to do? Like go out to rollerblade or like what are your favorite ho hobbies what you guys like to do? Who you can ask first? You. Me? Um, let's see. I like to read. I like to take my dog to different places, like the beach and different trails. Um, I like to see my friends. Uh, Go to the beach. What the, yeah. What about you, Ryan? What, what, what do you like to do? Yeah. Well, I mean, I said what I'm good at, right, but I do like um, hanging out with friends. Um, did you like video games? Yeah. Like watching movies and TV. Mm -hmm. What about you, Mr. 
Mr. J. Jeff. What do you like to do in your spare time, Jeff? What are some of your hobbies? Yeah. Oh. Do you, yeah, here we go. Sorry, guys. That's okay, Mr. Party Cushion. We're trying to hear Jeff's hobbies. Ah. I know he likes to swim. Does he? Because a long time ago, I had him at my pool at my parents' house. He likes to play basketball, I think. Basket, yeah. He likes to dance to the Backstreet Boys. Listen to music. And baseball. Uh, dance. He likes to drink that red soda that he has. It's not soda. Uh, yeah. Cranberry with zero of everything. He likes yeah. to tell us. Being healthy. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Spend time with his family. Yes, you got it. How, how about you add one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Brown, Peter? What about me? What are your hobbies? Oh, boy. Um, well, spending time with my family, I guess, would be one, too, just like Jeff. Um, how about, like, you know, watching my kids play sports and do their activities and things like that? Um, running, sort of. I can say that because Alex isn't here to make fun of me about it. <laughs> no. That's about it. Pretty boring. Know, life, no. My hobby is swimming, dancing, and motorbiking. There you go. Biking, right? And biking, hiking, yeah. And that's about it for my side. Okay. All right, then that's about it for his segment. Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Yes, Pete, we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and it's time for... Our segment. That's right. What's that segment called? Rushmore's. All right, what do, what do we do on Rushmore? That's a question. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about a question, a topic, a super secret topic, and then Jeff and our team all do their top four items from that category. And then we'll do the worst four. We'll go down to the bottom of Mount Rushmore and we'll do the worst four things from that category. Mm -hmm. So today, Jeff, I have the super secret topic. Since Whitney's handling trivia, I've got Mount Rushmore. And today I would like you to tell me the four best cartoon characters of all time. Cartoon characters. Four best cartoon characters of all time. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, okay, that's good. Strong start. Um... The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, okay. It's one of Noel's faves. Yeah. And... Lion King. The, which the one? The king? Certain character? Oh, uh, um... Uh, the uh, father. The, the father that dies? The, the That's one, one of your top cartoon <laughs> The one from the Sandlot movie is The Voice. Okay. James Earl Jones. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 um, I was going to say The Monkey. The Monkey from Lion King. Oh, Kiss. no. That's, that's a win. Um, a win that came. Rafiki. Okay. What, that's in the same movie, though, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. so we got Mickey Mouse, the monkey yeah. from Rafiki from Lion King, Little Mermaid, and we need one more. Okay. Um, I don't know. 
Um, first selections from Jeff here. The Incredibles. Which one? We need a character. Okay. Um, I, I say probably the father. Father, Mr. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. There's Jeff's top four. And we have, there's enough car cartoon Maybe. characters. Here. We should be able to do this without duplicating. So, all right. Noel, what do you got? No. Okay. Here we go. But, um, uh, let's see. I go with Simba, the Lion King. Another Lion King. Okay. Taylor Thomas. Okay. And grown up Simba is Matthew Connie. Are you Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> no, Matthew Broderick, maybe? Yes, Broderick. Okay. <laughs> Lion King and what about? Yep, the cartoon Aladdin one with Steve. Okay. So you have to mention the voice actors of them all. Yeah, cartoon Aladdin? Yeah. Okay, Aladdin. And yeah. What about J Jungle to Jungle? <laughs> Kind of like the Jungle Book. That's not a cartoon, Jungle to Jungle. Oh, but I also like um. Oh, the live action Jungle Book movie. Okay, but Pete's asking about cartoons. Oh, oh, okay. cartoon characters even, not even the cartoon. So you've got Simba and. How about Baloo? Baloo, okay. And Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's a good one. And um, Peter Pan. Okay. There you go. All right, yeah. Ryan, what do you got? Bugs Bunny. That, that was Peter one of my list. Family Guy. Um, Homer Simpson. Yeah. Um, Hey, um, one more. one more cartoon character. They may be like Chucky from Rugrats. Oh, good. That's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whitney Wild. I'm going to say Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Ooh. And I'm going to say, hey, Arnold, football head. Okay. And I'm going to say Scuttle, the bird in Little Mermaid. And Scuttle? that's a very specific one. <laughs> and I guess I will go with... um. I'll go with Minnie Mouse since Jeff said Mickey. All right. I've got uh, Donald Duck. I'm going to go with, uh, how, I'm going to go all over the place a little bit here. How about uh, Papa Smurf? Wow. I didn't even see the Smurf one. <laughs> um, he Man. And I'm going to go uh, like, Either Phineas or Ferb. <laughs> there, there's mine. What, what should we play? What would Alex pick? Anybody got one Alex would pick for her favorite cartoon characters? Uh oh, yeah. Oh, then, uh, I think um, maybe M Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> Mrs. Incredible, maybe. I'll, I would pick Audrey. Who's Audrey? The bike lady in the low axe, Taylor Swift. Okay. Yeah. I was kind of thinking that Whitney would say strawberry shortcake, um, but she didn't. So I'll maybe give that one to Alex. Oh, wait. Oh, That's before okay. my time, Keith. What about the cartoon of Rice Krispies? I'm going to say for Alex, um, Road Runner, because she likes to run. Okay. Road Runner, I kind of like that. Everybody likes Road Runner. I would I would like to take one back. If I had to do another one, I'll give you uh, Tasmanian Devil was a good one. Too. Oh yes. 
Oh, oh, what about Tiny Toons? Tiny Toons? Well, like, you can take off one of yours if you wanted. Tiny Toons is, is it's like same thing, but the you know, different younger, like Looney Tunes. Right. I want to take off one of mine. Um, I'm taking off Minnie Mouse and I'm going to put Snoopy. In. Oh, oh yeah. Snoopy. classic. Okay, that's classic. All right, let's go to the bottom of the mountain. What are the worst cartoon characters of all time? Ursula. Ursula, okay. Jeff, right off the bat with Ursula. The hyenas that killed the dad in the Lion King. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler, uh, uh, sorry I'm, for anyone that hasn't I'm, watched. I'm, I'm, I'm actually... Hey, Whitney? Yes. It was... Wilderbeast. <laughs> it was Wilderbeast? Uh, yes. It's not hyenas. We'll allow hyenas as well. Though. <laughs> All right. What else you got? We got, Jeff, you got three more to give us. Worst cartoons. Um, the Simply Duda. Is that a cartoon? That's a song. Oh, but it's still, um, what's that? Um, it's a movie and it's part. Will Will Man Live and he sings that song to cartoon birds. It's a some something it's a half it's more cartoon, but this man is not cartoon. Okay, well we'll allow it then. <laughs> I think it's boomsticks, but I don't know. You would you allow it, yes or no? Um, I was going to say no. Back to the drawing board, Noel. I mean, sorry, Jeff. Tell us another one. Um, that's a clean of hearts. Uh, I was saying, worst characters, worst cartoon characters. Um, how about a fairy tale? I don't know. All right, let's uh, go to Noel for a minute. Want to go to Noel? You think of some more? Or how about everybody just shout out theirs? Noel, what do you got? Okay. I will pick my captain. Um, the, uh, what? See, villains is, I think about Pirates in the Caribbean. Um, the one with the, um, the skeletons in the... Skeletons in the Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. Okay, it's very specific. Um, the one with the mustache and beard cushion. Uh-oh. No, it's the long hair in the hat. Okay. Is that okay. a cartoon? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. oh, okay. What about Peter? I'm just asking. <laughs> asking for a friend. Oh, I'm sure okay. a cartoon of it. I, I can pick that. Oh, Maleficent. Okay. Uh, the Queen of Hearts. They don't have to be evil. They can just be like bad characters too. Yeah. Maleficent is one, and the Queen of Hearts is two. Hey, peace. And, and oh, and the villain who was in Princess and the Frog. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Once upon a time, Pete. Once upon a time, what? <laughs> um, once upon a time is a TV show. Facts, but it's not cartoons though. Oh. Right. All right, Ryan, what do you got? Worst cartoon characters. Um let's see here. I'd say like Angelica from Rugrats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um let's see here. We 
Whitney, you got any? Um, well, I, I am going to trade another one for, <laughs> I'm trading Doug for Hey Arnold. I forgot Okay. about Doug. Um, As a but positive, a good one you like. a positive, yes. But um, for bad, I'm not really into any of the Looney Tunes. Okay. All so all the Looney Tunes. Oh, Wow. all Looney Tunes. I got one for Whitney. Okay, a bad one or a good one? Is this still the the under the mountain? Yep, bottom of the mountain. Worst cartoon characters. Okay. Though though we we turn to the sea, Ursula's daughter. I don't think it, is that a cartoon? <laughs> yep, Lena Mume too. I'm not. I don't really care for anime, but I don't really have any specifics I could name off that I wouldn't like. Because I'm not really like. Don't really like anime. Right. It's Like the that's another thing I could say. right. No. What is the the car's name in Cars? Like the main little red car. What's his name? Oh, is it? Oh, oh, oh I think it's is it fast red. No. Um. Close, close. Something was lightning. Lightning McQueen. McQueen lightning. Lightning McQueen, I think it is. And thank you. A queen bee. Yeah, that's on my list. Not a big fan of him. No. I like all the other guys in that show in Ladies Lady Cars better than Lightning McQueen. So, and then I'm gonna take um, Anna from Anna and Elsa too. Oh, because he doesn't do first. Well, just no. She just keeps. Because he doesn't do what? Frozen. Oh. <laughs> Keeps like running her mouth and doesn't listen to anybody. Just does her own thing. Like, yeah, she's doesn't treat her sister very nicely after her parents die. Like, so she's on the list. I didn't know you were such a non fan of Frozen. Yeah, she can get right in Lightning McQueen and drive away. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I have to say, Shrek's not always nice, but that's right. Didn't treat Fiona well at first. That's right. Um, what else? Uh, two more? I don't know if I got two more. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yes. Um, what about the cartoon Nemo movie? Cartoon Nemo. I've never seen it. I'll go. Oh, um, I'll go ahead. The cartoon series of Spider-Man. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with uh, two, two different things. Um, Sylvester the cat that always, like, you know, was after Tweety Bird and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to go with... Pink Floyd. No. Um, Jerry... The mouse from Tom and Jerry, because he was he just treated Tom like crap. So I'm not like a fan of his either. You know, he hit him over the head with a bat every episode, things like that. You know, no, that's no good. So there you go. There's my bottom of the mountain. You're really sticking up for a lot of cartoon characters today. <laughs> yeah, trying to my best to tell us what your worst cartoon character is of all, all time. Email it to us, strivecast at pslstrive.org. Maybe the best one could win a prize. Mm -hmm. We'll have Jeff judge it from the bottom of Mount Rushmore. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Mr. Jeff? Uh, no, Pete, I'm, I'm all good. I'm all set. Okay. Would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes. We'll be right back. This is brought to you by him. Listeners like who? Listeners like who, Ryan? Hey, Tara Howell. Thanks for listening, Tara. Thanks, Tara. You're our listener of the week. Jeff, tell everybody how they could be our listener of the week. Uh, you can uh, call us or, or, or send a message or or like or, or, or our idiot pages. That's right. There you go. Ooh. You could be a listener of the week just like that. Let us know you're listening. Okay. Jeff, want to take us yeah. a break? Oh, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're good. 
back. To wrap it up, up, up. Do 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 do. A ham, chicken, Alfredo, with a little bit a marinara sauce, caviar, and some honey cream mustard, and some guacamole, and some ketchup, and some pieces of mushrooms, and some state um kind of um kind of pea lake sandwich. <laughs> Wow. It was almost all edible ingredients, I think, until that Canopy Lake part. But... Okay, that's our disgusting wrap of the week as we wrap up our show for today. Uh, uh, Jeff, anything you'd like to say? Uh, no, I'm happy. Gonna... Before we get into too much business here, we also should point out that three people on the show have August birthdays. Oh, so, yes. Happy birthday to Ryan and to Jeff and to Whitney. So. Oh, thank you. Oh. We can call Jeff Jenna now. If you oh. like, I guess. Uh, How about Ryan? Are we still hiring? <laughs> yes, we the are. Ryan yes. is still hiring. It was a sign bonus of $1,750. Check out pflstrive.org slash employment. That's right. And a great chance to check us out is this Thursday, the 29th. We're having a big job fair right here at our central office on Darling Ave in South Portland. If you just want to come in and meet our team or ask some questions, get to learn a little bit, or even interview right on the spot, we'd love to talk to you. It's from 12 noon to 6 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, again, 39 Darling Avenue in South Portland. Or you can email us at info at pslstrive.org. We'll give you all the all the details. So lots of full-time, part-time, per diem positions available. Um, let us know if you're interested. We'd be happy to talk with you about it. And Whitney, we're kicking off a busy season um, we yeah. sure are, Pete. And you guys will get a sneak peek. Well, I guess not a sneak peek because we're going to interview him. But our friend Kevin is going back up on the roof of Patriot Subaru starting next Tuesday, September mm -hmm. 3rd. Kevin will camp out on the roof of Patriot Subaru and won't come down until he raises $80,000 yeah. for Strive. Keep listening to the Strivecast because we'll have a special interview with Kevin coming up while he's on the roof. And also, if you want to help him get off that roof, there's a many ways that you can do so. Visit helpkevinhelpstrive.org, text KOTR to 50155, or visit us all at the roof and Kevin will lower his donation bucket for you. We also have a number of great raffle prizes and prize packs from our sponsors um, for those that donate. So come see us starting next Tuesday at Patriot Subaru in Saco. There you go. Coming right up, right around the corner is our annual Kevin on the Roof event. I think that is just about it unless anybody else has anything i mean the auction wow. comes later this year though the auction will be in november i think it's off the top of my head november 14th what wow. it sure is it's not it's too early to donate year. if you or a business you know would like mm -hmm. to donate an auction item reach out or message us here and more info on the auction coming soon what about that super um super we are also having a super strive night for our 25th anniversary. We will be having a special strive night on Friday, September 20th, where all ages 15 and up are welcome to join us, where it all began right here at Strive Night. We'll have some special activities and food. We even have an ice cream truck coming. We'll have lots of music and dancing. Um, so it's going to be a really fun night. We'll share more information about it as it gets a little bit closer. How many bands are going to do it? We will talk about that later. Yeah. Coming up. We've got to keep some surprises. Yeah. All right. So there you go. So we will we'll see you uh, back here next week. Spread the word. Oh, wait, wait. No, it's the week. After. Well, how about we let us go to break and then we'll talk. Yeah. All right. Want to sign off? Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.